So what we're going to do now is add an additional system into our analysis. And this system does genuinely exhibit an edge. So to take advantage of, of market movements. So this final column here, which is pretty much identical to the random system, so it still has and exhibits that random behavior, but additionally has this additional term at the end, which is designed to give the system its edge. And over here we can control the level of that by this percentage here. So in this particular case, it's a 10% edge compared to the stop loss take profit value. So let's now turn that system on and regenerate our data. So initially we can see here, although it doesn't perform the best by the end, it performs fairly well. And that's because of the, the edge that it's got. But straight away, we can see that the this particular system here which is actually a random system, actually outperformed it over 500 trades, even though that has no edge whatsoever. So let's regenerate and see what happens. So this time, the system does win out, which is great. But look what happens here when we've regenerated the data again. There are now one, two, three, four, possibly five random systems that are outperforming this system we've got with an edge. Let's do it again. So this time it wins out just about. This time it doesn't. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six systems that are performing better. So remember, we've only got 30 random systems here and six of them, which is 20%, are actually performing better than the system with the edge. Now, you might say, maybe the system doesn't have enough of an edge, but if we extend the number of trades, I think it will give you a good indication that actually this is a fairly credible edge that we've got. So if we extend to two and a half thousand trades, takes a little bit longer to to calculate obviously with the more data this looks to be a pretty good system in the long term and obviously we can start to see that exponential growth coming in as the as the equity grows in this particular system and so you can see in the long term this easily outperforms the random systems but in the short term, as you can see on the left here, it is actually outperformed by, by the random systems. Let's just regenerate that again. So not quite as good results as the previous one, but still, still good. And again, easily outperforming these systems in the long term. <clears throat> but if we return to just 500 trades, Again, we'll see that very often the random systems outperform it. So here's a great example. Here it looks very mediocre compared to these other systems. So this is one of the key lessons really to, to take from this. And clearly the number of trades or the sample size is a very important factor in terms of our backtesting. Now, the problem is when I speak to traders day in, day out, they tend to be trading or backtesting with 200 trades, 300 trades. And clearly with that small number of trades, even if their system or some of the parameters in their, in their system do have a very valid edge, they're probably choosing parameters that don't. 
because of this behaviour that we can see here. One of the major issues that we usually identify fairly early on when we're looking at someone's back test results is the, the number of trades that that trader is getting from their, from their back test. And in some extreme cases, you can, you know, you can guarantee that there'll be 30 or 40 trades, um, as low as that, that they're making decisions on. And so what I always say to them is that, you know, you just simply cannot rely on the results from a back test that has, um, parameter values that, that result in as few as 30 or 40 trades. So if I just illustrate that here, I'm going to change this from 500 down to, to 30. So the first point to, to note here actually is in terms of the edge of the system. So it's only a relatively small edge when you look at it at this particular level. And you can see here that when the, uh, the system with an edge wins, the equity curve has a slightly higher gradient than the, the random systems which is what's giving it the edge. And then when it loses, it loses slightly less than the, the, the random systems. So that's where the, where the edge comes from. But with this low number of trades, very rarely does this system actually perform the best. So how many have we looked at now? 10, 11, 12, oh, nearly. <laughs> 13, 14, okay, and we still haven't had the system with an edge come to the top of this. And that's the issue we have with low sample sizes. Obviously, when we were looking at two and a half thousand trades, it was always there, okay? So that is a much more reliable back test when you can get those sorts of uh, numbers of trades than with very low numbers where the results actually aren't reliable at all. They cannot be trusted. Okay. So this is a perfect example of where putting a system live, let's say from this system here that performed best would result in a, a losing system in your live account.